and today we're gonna get a little little Gilmoreish. Uh, you may or may not know, like one of my top five for sure, probably more like top three guitar players, like that just do it for me, like just every freaking time. David Gilmore. I mean, so awesome. Takes like a minor pentatonic scale or something like that, and just creates like the most beautiful melodic phrasing ever. And the feel, it's just sick. It's ridiculous. <laughs> So the clip I'm going to show you is from a course called Blues Soloing Secrets Minor Pentatonic Level 2. And it's kind of how to let that Gilmore influence get into your style without, you know, copying. But you'll get the idea. And not only that, it's like how to, how to become, you know, melodic in your improvising. We can know a scale, but the scale is not going to show you how to become melodic. you got to know how to see the chords of your progression inside the scale. So that's what this clip does. The tabs, the jam track guitar profiles i went big i'm going big now i'm you get guitar profiles with all my courses so check it out down below it's from blue soling secrets minor pentatonic level two it's 10 and a half hours long on how to become a better improviser check it out links below catch you next time <laughs>
and I'm adding the all those mutes, right? Those down up mutes. All the time. So I got. And then I'm sliding in, right? It doesn't have to be. Sliding straight up from four to, or actually five to one, right? And here's the D chord and then the E chord. Right? So. So you go to the 10th fret. You can do 10 to 12 or slide in just to 12. And then go 10, 12. And then. straight up the scale. So you go 12, 14, 12, 14, and then double stop. And then. And again, very Gilmore in, in the climb. I, I, my two favorites, well, if I were to nail it down to like two or three favorite solos, Comfortably Numb, and learn these solos note for note because there's just gold everywhere in these solos. So comfortably numb, another brick in the wall, just great blues rock playing, and then coming back to life. Another great, and it has two solos, and that one's more of a major sound, right? Those other two are very minor, but the major playing he does is so incredible too. Such a great song, and there's two solos. Well, there's two solos in comfortably numb too, right? So you get a bunch of twofers and just killer blues playing. If you could just cop that feel that he gets in any of those, your blues licks will be solid gold. Make them your own, but you know, snag some of that. That kind of stuff, just great. And that sliding off and sliding in. Making each note count. And a lot of that stuff is here too. Right, I'm sliding in on a muted, and then I come out with a note. Right. That, it's muted. And then I literally do that, right? Just open string madness. And sometimes if you do it quick enough and then mute it off, doesn't matter. Right, and that's going to be my Hendrix style lick. So we got 12, or excuse me, 14. Up a whole step. Right, and it's just 12. I said it again. 14. And then 12. See, I'm thinking about this note. To 15. So we got bend up 14 again. And then. kind of the Stevie Ray. Right? So here. Okay, so that very Hendrixy that that and then that's gonna be so it's a quick get that I use that all the time so it's a really quick pull off. And then I almost I think you can hammer to that note washes. If you attack it enough, you don't you don't have to pick. That happens all the time in my playing. Where I go to the next string and I just hammer down. That's something I got from Eddie. Eddie does that all the time where he'll go to another string and he just, his hammer-ons are so good that they almost sound like pick notes. It's the attack, right? It's not how hard you press, it's the attack, right? How quickly you do it, bam! Because <laughs> if you do a hammer-on slow, like to that, it doesn't work. But if you, right, or if you do it slow, it's not gonna work. 
you gotta, but this is level two, right? We get this. Alright, so. So that next part. Right, so we got pull off, 14 to 12 on the D. 14. And then hammer. And then again, the G. Same move, but now you're going up to position two. And then, so that's going to be 15, 17. A little triangle, like I call it, because it's like you're doing a little triangle, right? So you got, right? So you got, I'm going to make a little triangle. All right, so. Hit this note down here, right? Part of my. And then we. Or. You can do that thing. Or. That would be a total Gilmore move. <laughs> that step and a half, then, right? So. Now, a part of that feel, right, is maybe bending up, come down a little bit, and then get back to it. It's that those little things, man, and, and bluesy souls. Some of those, right? That, that that's not you know. There's no vibrato or anything, but the next, you know, it's all those little tiny things. Really slow down. If, if I can get anything across to you in this course and any of my courses, is slow down, right? I my first 20 years of playing, I'm like faster, faster, faster. <laughs> I gotta be able to play as fast as humanly possible. You get. You know, it's hard. You jump on YouTube and you're like, look at all these players are playing so fast. I got to be able to do that. No, you don't. You don't have to be able to do that. It's okay if you aspire to do that, but play with feel first. The people that we really, really like and can listen to for a long time are the players, if, you, if you're craving speed, can do both. Joe Satriani, perfect example of technique and feel just killer feel killer licks but can really let it fly if he wants to but doesn't because he uses it very sparingly right even though even songs like satch boogie there's ripping playing everywhere and if you've never heard that song it's so good but there's feel right there's that you can tell you can he you can hear the hendrix and the billy gibbons and all these guys in his playing and players like that right the really good ones you know, whether it's Eddie or any of these guys, you can hear the old school blues feel and they're playing and that's what makes it good. It's those little runs and the bends that they do and the vibrato that really just put like hammer home what good players they are. So that's why I go with Gilmore because if Van Halen's too fast for you, even Hendrix, Gilmore is that perfect, perfect slow. Always learn some Gilmore licks. Comfortably numb. Another brick in the wall, coming back to life. I've done all of them. Check them out online. So much goodness to be had. Okay, so here we go.
don't know. I mean, maybe that's the second part of the lick. Just keep jamming. Keep keep taking the ideas. Maybe rearrange, you know, the, the order. Come in with the low lick first or whatever. Just constantly mess around. I mean, when I'm creating these jam tracks, it's just constantly jamming and jamming and twisting and turning and, you know, starting in new spots. Always experiment. All right, let's get on to the next lick. <laughs> 